Now one of the advantages of living in posh Oxfordshire is the milkman delivers fantastic quality cheese. Take a look at that. Snowdonia Cheese Company Black Bomber and we have some Godminster Oak Smoked Cheddar. Okay, so back again for a, another video. It's a glorious sunny day, so I thought I'd uh, shoot it outside. I've actually cut into this uh, amazing black bomber. Now, it's uh, from the Snowdonia uh, Cheese Company, and it comes in this uh, fantastic black wax, and it looks really, really classy uh, when you put it on a, a cheese board with a bit of brie. Uh, and, uh, and some Stilton and, and things like that. I also went to a wedding recently where they had the three kilo uh, truckle of cheese as the, the lower layer on a wedding cake and that worked really well as well. Uh, I think it's a great looking, uh, great looking cheese. Uh, they do lots of different cheeses. This uh, Black Bomber comes obviously in the black wax but they do whiskey soaked cheeses, uh, chili cheeses and they all come in uh, different coloured truckles and I just love the way that you get an in, you can get these 200 gram individual truckles. So I'm going to mark the appeal of the cheese as, a, as an 18, uh, made in the north of Wales, uh, really nice looking cheese. Uh, I'm going to give it an 18 out of 20 for the appeal. The nose of the cheese, it's you're definitely in mature cheddar territory. It's a really nice, cheesy, uh, buttery, quite sweet, sweet smelling cheese. I'm going to give uh, the nose of the cheese uh, a 17 out of 20. Now to taste it, you need to obviously cut this, this black uh, wax off, off the cheese. Excuse me for this huge knife, but it's the, it's the best way to get into it. Now, the taste of the cheese is absolutely fantastic. It's actually my girlfriend's favourite cheddar at the moment, and I, I kind of have to agree. There are other very good ones out there, but I think it's a superb cheddar. The taste, this is going to sound dumb, but it's very, very cheesy. Uh, some cheeses taste earthy, some taste grassy, some taste buttery, but this is the archetypal kind of cheesy kind of flavour. That you uh, that you would expect from a cheddar, and it's it's really really great. I'm going to give the taste an 18 out of 20. The texture, because of this uh, this wax and the way it's matured in in the wax, it's a very uniform cheese. You, you know, it's not different towards the edge as it is into the middle. It's uh, it's lovely all the way through. It's kind of soft. It's not hard for a cheddar. It's kind of soft, but you still got some uh, flintiness uh, and graininess to the cheese if you can if you can see that on there it's very 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 good uh, and I'm going to give this an 18 out of 20. This cheese for me is probably the most Moorish cheese that I keep in, in my stock regularly after I've tasted every other cheese I quite often come back to this one and just keep loading this one onto cracker after cracker. It's absolutely great. I'm going to give it an 18 out of 20, which gives it an overall score of uh, 89 out of 90. It's a great cheese. You can buy it in 200 gram truckles, 400 gram truckles, or 3 kilo truckles. Uh, again, it, it comes from Wales. Uh, and I highly recommend that you buy it. Uh, you can buy it, I got it this one from my milkman actually, but you can buy it in Sainsbury's, you can buy it in Tesco, uh, probably Waitrose, most of the decent supermarkets carry this cheese. Definitely recommended and looks really, really classy if you're doing dinner parties. Now, if you like the video, please click the like button or, or follow me. Also soon, 
we're going to have a website uh, where all these scores of cheeses will be documented and you can you can look through them and get some background on some cheese so uh, uh, look forward to that coming very soon <laughs>